Colin, I want to get to this independent report to the United Nations Human Rights Council. It has accused Israel, alongside Hamas, of a string of war crimes and human rights abuses, including torture, extermination, starvation, and even gender persecution. Uh, what's your response to this UN report? Well, it's predictable. This uh, UN body, like so many other UN bodies, have a track record of uh, anti-Israel hostility uh, that's very extreme. Uh, so uh, th their, their position is completely divorced from reality. Uh, they don't understand the difference between a democratic country uh, pursuing its self-defence in the most huma humane way. Experts like John Spencer point out that Israel's done more to prevent civilian ca casualties than any other other military in history in situations of urban warfare like this. On the other hand, Hamas is guilty of double war crimes. It's deliberately trying to kill as many Israelis as possible. It has through the years. It clearly has on October 7. That was a genocidal act. It's continuing to fire rockets. And at the same time, it's deliberately putting its mm -hmm. own people at risk. It's a no, war indeed. crime on its own Gazans and its use of human shields. We all know that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing happening now. It's time all for right. the international community and the UN bodies to wake up to reality and put pressure on Hamas. Indeed it uh, is. Colin, we are out of time. Thank you very much for joining me.